Hello Cancer, I'm here to do your first two weeks of April bi-weeklies. Excuse my mess look. Um, I currently have a new puppy that I have been running around the house with all morning. So, um, let's get into this reading. The song I got on Shuffle for you guys was I Can't Fall in Love Without You by Zara Larson. So it seems like you could be in a separation right now from somebody and you're like, you know, feeling like this is your person and that you can't, it could be like feeling a little bit, um, a little bit stressful for you right now um, in regards to love and finding new love, especially since we're on quarantine, if you're like me. So first Oracle card I got was love yourself. Let's look at, let's get two more for cancer, two more. Make a plan, make a plan, and one more. Face your shadows. Okay, so there could be something that is called to your attention during this time, especially if you are spending a little bit of time alone. You know, sometimes when we're in these like twin flame connections, uh, so to speak, they're really meant to mirror us and whatever problem you're encountering in regards to this relationship, it's probably something that's going on internally for you. Um, but I really feel like there's, cause the lyrics to the song say like, I can't fall in love without you. And then like the end of the chorus says, so please don't fall in love without me. So it could be that you're worried that somebody's out there finding somebody new but I think like what you have to address really is are you why are you if, if it's meant to be it will be so there's no point in stressing over something that um hasn't yet happened easier said than done but I think you're stressing yourself out and it's like you have to kind of face face why that is why it is that you have created that fear so let's look at the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck we got the three of cups um so this could be third party situation um maybe you are you are in separation maybe your person's with somebody else you're hoping that they don't you know but i think if it, you have to be honest with yourself if you're holding on to something um but let's get into the reading i want to see what's going on here because there's a couple different energies here i do get this sense of stress and anxiety though on somebody's part um we've got the knave of wands so this is communication coming in like a flirty message this could be a flirty message coming in here um Somebody wanting to open up communication again. Could be fire sign energy. Can I get a clarifier for this knave of wands? Um, six of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're going to get some unexpected kind of communication here. Almost could be that this person's like bringing you something. But I think that they're bringing you this communication in. Um... It's going to be, play it's like this playful energy, this playful, flirty energy, but it could come at you unexpectedly. Um, let's see. Oh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so you could be starting a new beginning. There's that Devil card and the High Priestess. All right, so there could be this feeling of something hidden going on here. That Devil card is like this person... This person actually feels bound to you. So it could actually be this person that's singing, like that's saying, like, please don't fall in love with somebody new. But you could have somebody new here coming in. Um, this person is coming up as the high priestess, could be Pisces energy. You are coming up as the ace of wands, which is this new passionate beginning. Like I said, that knave of wands there, that's to me is like, some kind of little flirty lustful encounter something that's like passionate the beginning of something the beginning of something very young but then i feel like there's this other energy this devil energy but it could be that you just feel very attracted to this person let's see what this ace of wands is doing here 
Ace of Wands. Please don't fall in love with me. All right, Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Magician card. So you could be manifesting this romantic offer to come in from this person who I feel like you are, you do feel bonded to, but I do think it's a lot physical. It's a lot more infatuation than it is love. I will say that. And you might keep manifesting this person to come back into your life and you're feeling like there's this attachment, but they might, maybe they're not expressing how they feel. Maybe they are, um, maybe you feel as though they are seeing other people. Let's see, this high priestess here. This person's like almost energetically hidden from you too. Six of wands. Um, it's because there's like, they want this victory here. It's almost like if they expect, if you expect them coming, they know you'll prep and plan. But if they surprise you, then it's kind of like they know you have no way of turning them down type of situation. Like this person feels like if they just come in unexpectedly, they have a better chance at persuading you to do something or persuading you to you know because they're trying to catch you off guard basically because if they catch you on guard you'll have they know you'll have a plan make a plan um knight of pentacles knight of wands i think you have somebody else gemini i think you've got somebody new somebody stable but this person here is this in and out person who comes in and out of your life and you have this strong physical like a connection with them and it's really hard for you to turn this person down when they come in and they always like surprise you when they come in let's see this knight of pentacles what's going on with this knight of pentacles this is you having options though i see you having options cancer um, I might have just called you Gemini. I don't know. Um, there's one person here you have the opportunity to grow with. And I think this is the person that's like you have this new beginning with. You have this romantic offer. It's like you kind of manifested this stable connection. Then you have this Knight of Wands who's a little bit more brings the fire, brings the passion, brings like that uncertainty that's like exciting to you so right now i feel like you're kind of in this state of weighing out your options like because you're going to get a message from this past person but you could already be in a new connection look two of pentacles the two of swords and the hierophant taurus energy here we've got capricorn energy um huh so two twos, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're trying to block, like if this person comes back in, you wanna block this person out, but ideally this is the person you wanna be in the long-term connection with. I feel like this, this fiery, passionate energy, but they're a little bit unstable, I have to say. Um, and they're a little bit secretive. They've got their secrets and they've got their games. They like to play and they like to win. This other person's definitely really competitive. So when they see you with somebody else, it like immediately triggers them to want to come back in and kind of just prove to themselves that they're still able to get you, even if you're in another relationship. Um, Ten of Cups, because I see whoever is... Whoever else is in the picture has the potential to really emotionally fulfill you. If you give this person a chance, if you let it grow to that, I see, I see there being um, a good chance of that. We got the tower here. So something's up. Something's up here. Let me get a clarifier for that ten of cups before I get into the tower. There's that three of cups. Okay, so I feel like cancer you could be the one spearheading this third party situation like you've got somebody that you feel very sexually charged towards you've got somebody there and then you have somebody that you have a, like a potential for a stable commitment if not you're already in a stable commitment i feel like this 
Knight of Wands is somebody you frequently know, somebody that you almost feel like you're addicted to them. And they come back in at the most inconvenient times. If they haven't returned, they are returning soon. And it's kind of up to you to um, say no, say no, like forbidden fruit. Because what's going to happen is there's going to be this tower moment here. Let me get a clarifier for this tower. What's going to happen is there's a tower moment here. Tell me about this tower moment. Yeah, three of pentacles. It's like the tower will always collapse because you have to rebuild on solid ground. So this is a personal thing as well because look at that face, your shadow. Like it could be that this person makes a reoccurrence in your life and it's like what are you looking for when you continue to allow this person into your life or, you know, because what I'm seeing is like the person that you have is like this stable, nice person person you should probably settle down with but there's something some kind of allure and some kind of addiction to this other person and what universe is saying is like you kind of have to get into the nitty-gritty and find out why you are um addicted to this person or why you have this feelings for this person because i see even if nothing happens when this person comes back in it makes you refocus on them which is exactly what this person wants to prove to themselves that you're still they're still capable of winning your affection um and it takes your focus away from them and then you kind of miss out on the opportunity to have a happy stable relationship that you want because i just don't see this person providing that i see this person coming in quickly with passion and um you know leaving just as quickly and leaving you having ruined you know, a connection that might have really been healthy. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Expect the reemergence of this past person um, in the extended. And remember, if this doesn't resonate, don't force it. In the extended, I'm going to look more into who this is coming towards you, um, what's happening unexpectedly for you in the month, what messages this person has for you, advice from spirit, as well as how to move forward. Um, what is blocking your connections from coming in. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.